Hi, y'all. I want to say thank you for coming and playing with me and leaving such sweet comments. I sure do appreciate it. We are going to make this pocket with tag, but it's the pocket that is the, um, the star for today. And this was inspired by Heather at Rose Hill Paper, Paper Cottage. And so um, I'm thinking of doing a flip-flop journal and I seen her, her video yesterday and wanted to make a few of these um, for an upcoming journal. And so what we have is one of my rusted paper clips. This is one of Heather's at um, Ruby and Pearl, one of her images. And the paper is um, chapter one. So you can open this up for writing. And I've got um, Ruby and Pearl's antique uh, papers. Antique and Vintage Papers, I believe is the name of it. And this backing is in there. And so you can, you can either glue this to keep the pocket closed or leave it open like I have so that you have writing in here. Um, and it just goes up like that and you just, you know, decorate this. I've got it, just a simple tag here. I didn't focus too much on the tag. Oops. But there you go. So I thought I'd make a couple of these. There we go. I think it is so pretty. Um, I used sample words here and then this piece of ledger, I don't know where that came from. Um, I wanted to show you this journal. I was planning on doing a journal with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures Harvest Waltz papers. This is the ephemera for the papers. And you know, I'm kind of stumped. I got the inside, we got a lace pocket here, and I have the papers together. I don't have any doilies, I can't find them. But I got some papers there. But with me, I have to do the cover. I just, I find it so hard to work on the inside of the journal without the cover being done. And, I've got this and I thought about using these, but I kind of think I changed my mind. I just don't know. And then I have a rosette here. I just don't know. I don't like that. That's definitely not what I'm going for. So I don't know. We may or may not work on this at some point. I need to get some motivation on that. So let's work on this. I have some papers over here. Oops, I have more on the printer. Let me grab them. I just dumped all kind of stuff. My garbage fell over. Good thing it's only paper, right? Um, so I have a bunch of papers here from chapter one that we may or may not use some of those. So I thought for the next one, let's do this. So it's really simple. You just fold in a little here. And then you want to evenly get these, you know, in threes. So the easiest way for me is to do it like this. 
you know, like when you're folding a letter. That is such pretty paper. And there you go. And like I said, you can glue that down if you like. Try to get this to the end some more there, and then just fold that up a little to make it more of a manageable size. And because it's cute, and I have a little bit of a white edge on this paper, so I'm going to trim that off. Go ahead and ink this up to distress it some. And I like to distress at the folds you know, to age it some. You could also crinkle the pages, tear the corners, that sort of thing. There, looks good. There, now this just needs to be trimmed just a little bit. Just like that. This project is so simple and it makes such a bold statement, I think. I have some tags over here. Maybe that one that are ready made makes it so simple. And I want a little ticket that I can fold over. So how's everybody doing today? Are you working on any projects? I can't seem to go a day without doing a project. To start jonesing for crafting when you're not crafting. I don't know what made me think that I could pack everything and not craft until we moved. That was a big mistake. And that's part of my problem with working on the journals is I don't have all my stuff. So it's hard, the inspiration just isn't there. I love doing these tab fold overs, like little reinforcers. I think it makes such an awesome statement. I think I'm just going to use the pink. 
because that's what I have out. Just tie it in a knot. We got it hanging out there. So the tag is simple. You can find a label if you want. How about Paris? Ink that up, and you if you don't if you're not an inker, you certainly don't have to ink. That's for sure. How about a little bit of cheesecloth? I love using cheesecloth. There now, our simple basic tag has, you know, some style to it. All right, what are we going to do here? We need an image. I want a label. Not that big. Some of these are just too big for this project. How about this one? And put a little bit of cheesecloth behind that too. Oh, I love that. I need to paper clip that down. I love the rusted paper clips and it's so easy to rust metal. Quick and easy. Look, I'm going upside down. All right. Let's find an image like we have here. See if I have anything in what I printed out. Otherwise, I like that one. I want like birds or something, but I don't have anything like that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. All right, we'll go with this. Ink around her.
and I already have a little mini paper clip. These paper clips are so cute. And just go to Amazon and type in mini paper clips. And there's Tim Holtz and there's these ones. These ones are much cheaper than Tim Holtz. So there's that. I don't know if I want that picture though. I want one that's a little longer. Yeah, that might do. Look at the face on that little girl. I think I want this one. It's a little longer. Look at that face. Oops. Let's put the tag in there, Chris. Yes, I talk to myself. <laughs> there, look at how cute those are. I really want to do a flip-flop journal now with these Chapter 1 papers. Those are just adorable. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, if you make some, show me. I'd love to see them. And um, please hit the thumbs up button, the like button. I would really appreciate that. And a little comment sure would help my channel. All you have to do is say hi. And I will say hi back. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.